Welcome back to my channel, Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z, and today we're making mango. And this is the number one most requested recipe here on my channel, and for good reason, because mango is so velvety, so delicious. It is hands down my favorite thing to eat in life, and it is the epitome of Dominican comfort food. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. It's actually not all that hard. It's more about technical things and things that you have to do to get it right. Like for example, you have to cut up some red onions, and I actually did this beforehand. So I cut them up in little round circles, and then I added some vinegar, and I added some salt, and I let that sit. And I actually like to do that beforehand, before I go ahead and peel the plantains. Now, you guys have probably already seen my video on how to peel a plantain, because I put that up on my channel a few days ago. Now, if you want an in-depth video on how to do that, just check that out. But I pretty much cut them in to small pieces because your girl is hungry, so I want these plantains to boil on the faster side. Now, I do have them soaking in water, and that's because plantain is a starch. And just like potato, which is also a starch, whenever you leave it out in the air, it tends to oxidize, and an easy way to prevent that from happening is just to let that soak in some water. So we're gonna start off by adding our platanos into a large pot, and we're going to cover it with some water. And be sure that your plantains are actually drowned in a bunch of water. And then we're going to add a healthy serving of salt, but not too much salt because you don't want the water to be salty either. And we're gonna let that come to a boil until they soften up. Now, while their platanos are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start sauteing our onions and creating a really nice Dominican style mojo. So add some oil into a pot, then add the onions while that oil is still cool so that that oil doesn't pop and burn you. And we're gonna let that saute for about five minutes until the onions become nice and medium soft. You don't want them too, too soft. Now, I do have a Cuban style mojo recipe here on my channel, so I'll be sure to link that. They are a little bit differently, but they are also both tasty. So once the platanos are nice and soft, it's actually time to start making our delicious mango. And we're going to add the platanos into a large mixing bowl. And be sure not to drain all of the water from that pot because that water is going to come in handy when we're making our mango. And now we're going to add some butter or some margarine. I personally think that making mango with margarine tastes a little bit better, but to each his own and neither way is wrong. And then we're going to add a little bit of the water where the platanos were boiling and we're going to eyeball this. I like to add a little bit of the time because I get to control the consistency that way. And then we're going to add that beautiful and delicious onion sauce that we just made as well. Now you can also add some onions here and mash them together if you want, but I personally prefer to top them at the end. And then we're going to mash everything. Now, if I were making a single serving of mango, I would mash it with a fork, but because I'm making a ton of mango for dinner tonight, I'm actually using a masher because it's just so easy on my struggle wrist and on my arm. So you pretty much just do all these steps over and over and over again until you've mashed up all of your mango. Now, again, as a quick tip to making your mango and having your mango be super velvety and perfect each and every single time, just add a little bit of butter and a little bit of the water where the platanos were boiling and a little bit of the sauce, of the onion sauce that we also created, a little bit of it at a time. Because you don't want to create a mango soup, but you also don't want your mango to be super dry. But if you add it a little bit at a time, you can actually control the consistency. And we want a velvety consistency. We almost want it to look like a super creamy mashed potato. So keep mashing and mashing until that you get the texture that you want. And it's okay if you have a little bit of lumps. Little lumps are actually a good thing. Now mango tastes amazing with some fried cheese, fried salami, and the sauteed onions garnished over top. If you have any questions on this recipe, visit my website, chefccooks.com. Don't forget to follow me on social media and come back next week when I have an all new video. Buen provecho, guys.